Hello indie game lovers, nerds and nerdettes, my name is Phoenix, and this is Indie Game News. If you are regular to the series, you can skip this intro by using the timestamp in the description. For the rest of you, quick intro. In this series we are going to focus on all the hot news from the world of indie games. Today we are looking at the tycoon genre. These videos are packed with information, so sit back, take your time and stay focused for the next few minutes. Feel free to pause at any time. I cover other genres as well, so feel free to check my channel afterwards. As always, we are going to start with updates of already existing games. Once again, Winds of Trade ends the month with a bunch of updates. We are currently at the version 1.3 of the game. We will see addition of newer, much larger map, game performance and user interference improvements, better advanced tutorial and 4 new resources. We will also see addition of experience to your captains, some bug fixes and tweaks. Developer is learning a lot on this project and the game is becoming much more polished. I will be looking forward to his next project. For those of you who are new to this game, Winds of Trade is a training company simulator set in the fictional procedurally generated world sometime in 17th and 18th century. Your job is to expand your fleet, establish trade routes and outsmart competition when dealing with the loss of supply and demand. Startup company enter Beta 10. It is available from the developer's website to anyone who pre-ordered the game. Startup Company is a sandbox business simulator game. You play as a CEO of a newly founded software development company looking to earn your name for the, yourself in the industry. In this tycoon game you will be able to design your own office, buying furniture, placing walls and equipment. You will be competing on price and service with other companies to win contracts. Game also features a very interesting crafting system where you can merge components together to create modules. Modules create products. Your job also will be to update your product's features and generate the hype to increase the user base and income of your products. I will be checking beta this month and I'm looking forward to hear the opinions of those of you who tried it. Ok, it is time for releases of last month. Terrier has entered early access on the 17th of May. Terrier is a 3D tile based tycoon game where you manage your own vineyard. In Terrier you will grow a variety of different grapes, craft your wine and expand and manage your offer. All that while dealing with the weather and the events that can either make or break your business. The game has such features as a dynamic weather system, pattern after Bordeaux wine region, crafting wine through the game's four winemaking processes, crushing, fermentation, pressing and aging, and up to 33 tiles to expand your wine industry. The game features very clean and minimalistic art style and have so far received 76% of positive review score on Steam. The production line, released on the early access on the 18th of May, and already we have seen 3 new updates to the game. In this car factory tycoon, your job will be to establish perfect efficient production of cars, maximize the profit and beat the competition. The game is built with the efficiency geeks in mind and will be appealing to any fan of the games like Factory and Big Pharma. To win the market share from the big companies, you will need planning, appreciation of future technology, careful eye on your bottom line, an ability to design the factory layout to make the use on every square meter and cut production costs per car to absolute minimum. The production line is currently sitting on 75% positive review score out of 106 reviews submitted on Steam and the developer is very active and produces updates all the time. Ok, let's focus on the upcoming games and announcements. Airport CEO has cancelled its Greenlight campaign since Valve closed down Greenlight service. The good news is it freed up more of the developer's time to focus on the game and work on the third and final gameplay video. In their 17th developer log, developers announced that the game is almost ready to release on the early access on Steam. For those of you who haven't heard about the airport CEO, it is a 2D tycoon and management game where you take the seat of the CEO of your own airport. You will build airport's infrastructure with everything from runways to taxiways. You will manage the business perspective of your airport by hiring employees, managers and executives. You will be making the deals with airline companies and making sure that the ends meet by keeping an eye on the budget and resources. You will have to cater to passengers needs by keeping your waiting times to minimum, by having a friendly and helpful staff around and by making passengers feel secure, keeping any potential criminals at bay. Ok, Rec Center Tycoon is announced to release in July this year. Rex Center Tycoon draws inspiration from management classics like Film Hospital to give you a deep business management game where you build and run a recreation center from the ground up. You will micromanage employees, finances and customers needs and much more. The game features both career and sandbox experience. You will have access to over 100 buildable equipments and various employees to see the recreation center style. 
You will be able to create your own uniforms and even assign your own fitness classes. This is the early access product, so have that in mind when you're making your decisions to purchase. Time for our final update and adult content warning. Triple X Tycoon is a set to release on the 26th of June. Triple X Tycoon is a simulation game in which the player will get to experience the highs and lows of adult entertainment industry from behind the scenes. The game features random events that may affect the growth of your studio or hinder performers. You will have to please the volatile customer trends, take part in extravagant awards shows, and make sure you always have a supply of a new talent. You will be able to steer your company for different eras of industry, sabotage your competition while trying to prevent them from doing the same to you, but you have to remember that only the best adapt in this industry. You will have to deal with different sets from motels to studios and mansions, as well as different formats from VHS to VR. It is important to notice that this game is about the whole adult industry, not just the movies. So if you choose to specialize in the production of sex toys, instead, it is entirely possible. My advice to you is with any genre that has controversy as a main selling point, be cautious and wait for reviews to ensure the gameplay is equally exciting as the main theme. What makes me optimistic in here? It is the final product and not the early access product, so there is no risk of abandonware. Okay, nerds and nerds, don't go just yet because I need to ask you for your help. In the past I got some great suggestions from you and I will ask again. If you know of any games that should be featured in the next month update, please contact me at writetophoenix at gmail.com, tweet to me at phoenix underscore gaming or simply comment under this video. I spent hours researching indie games but I'm sure some of you know of the upcoming games that I have missed. Thanks in advance for helping me to make this show better for everyone. Okay, that concludes our episode of Indie Game News. I hope you had a great time and feel free to check my channel for other videos you may enjoy. Thanks for choosing to spend this few minutes with me. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more Indie Game News on my channel. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comment sections down below. Take care.